A few years ago, I got probably one of the toughest literary agent rejections I ever got. I was at work teaching. I'm a teacher. And I got an email on my phone in between the transition period between like fifth and sixth period. And as soon as I read the email, like as soon as I read the header, I knew it was a rejection. And what made this rejection so difficult was the fact that this agent and I had been communicating for months. That this agent was so interested in me and my work that they were emailing me in the middle of the read, the middle of the book, telling me, hey, is this still available? Let me know if you get an offer. And I really thought that an offer was going to come. Well, a couple months after she, she, you know, had been in the middle of the book, she finished the book and she told me she wanted me to do some revisions for her. And she wanted to see if I could do the revisions. And I was so optimistic and so excited. And I did the revisions. It took me almost two months to finish the revisions. Um, I made some pretty substantial changes for her. And afterward, I felt so confident. And I guess that's, you know, part of the message is that don't get overconfident because um, there's no guarantee. And uh, she even after I sent it to her, she told me how excited she was. You know, we went back and forth. And then her rejection just kind of came in out of the blue. And I remember I was trying to like, I had a meeting with some of my colleagues and we were discussing some teaching strategies and I was just out. Like I just sat there. I wasn't going to like break down in front of them and tell them what had just happened. So I just sat there. Ultimately, it did work out for me in the end because it wasn't much long later that I did get an offer of representation. And that book um, that I had done the revisions um, ended up being my debut novel, and that's Sky's End. So if you are out there and you're writing and you're really struggling and you just had that brutal rejection, you don't, you'll never know when that win is coming. It might be just around the corner. So you just have to keep fighting.